possible to then to skip spheres, is it? Um, uh, when you say skip fears, on Earth we learn different lessons and sometimes the lessons are lessons from higher spheres than what the one we're in. In the spirit world, no, it's not possible to skip spheres. You actually go from one to the other to the other learning different lessons. It's a bit more orderly, I suppose you could say. Here on Earth, you can actually learn lessons from the sixth sphere when you're still in the first sphere condition. Does that make sense? You won't be in the sixth sphere from a spiritual point of view until you learn all those lessons. But you can learn lessons from spheres higher. So right at the moment, I've just taught you one thing that is a 20 second sphere lesson. That's this sphere, the thing about the soul union. In other words, you at some point will become at one with your soulmate. Right? And you at one point will become one, the one entity that you were created. That's a lesson from the 20 second sphere. It's an emotional lesson. I've only taught you it intellectually. You will have to experience it before you know it to be true. But it's a lesson that's available there. And one great thing about talking about these lessons is it removes a lot of the fear out of the progression and allows you to look at everything from a beauty, beautiful perspective and from a loving perspective. And creates desire. And creates desire, yeah. How many of you have wanted a beautiful connection with a partner in your life? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. It's just something that all of us seek at some point, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Now, what God has ahead of you is that you will have that perfect connection in your life. You will. If you follow the divine path, you will have that perfect connection in your life. It's just a matter of dealing with a few little emotions here. And there. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dave, do, at what point do we have guides all the way through that progression, yeah. right up into the twenty-second sphere and beyond? Who guides? Who guides the, the souls in the twenty-second sphere? Well, like you're not going to like this answer, many of you, but I'm going to say it. And the God guides myself. I have guided many of the people in the twenty-second sphere. Many of those who guide the other people in the twenty-first sphere. Many of those guided the people in the 20th sphere, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. So you're the, you're the original guide. And um, <laughs> you say I'm the original guide. I don't feel that way now, but obviously I'm going through lots and lots of lessons now, relearning a lot of things because of the emotional damage. But that's what's happened in the spirit world. Yes. So so the first person guides the next person, and so on. Wouldn't you do that yeah. if you were the first? Like, honestly, if you're the first person in the 23rd sphere, I want to talk to you. Because, in the 23rd sphere, I'm talking. Because I want to talk to you because I want to be there with you. Right? It makes no difference whether you or me get there first. What makes the difference is that I want to be there, and if you're there, I want your help. So did God so right? guide, guide you all the way through? Must have. Yeah. And God's done lots of things to, with me to help me get there. Even things where children have told me things that I needed to learn. And it's a matter of being humble and open to learn those things. This is even in the first century, by the way. Like in the first century, the way God taught me was the same way God teaches you. And many times I was taught by a child in the first century. Right? What would be an example? Uh, just to learn to learn to live in their passion. Like one of the things I started seeing as I grew up a little older, you know, I was seeing children living in their passion, adults not living in their passion. That taught me a lot. That taught me that I had to always go back to being that child, living my passion. Does that make sense? Yes. So I have been taught in the same way you get taught. Right? And if you make it to the 23rd sphere before me, please come and talk to me about it because I want to be there with you. Right? Hey Jay, if we now change to the to the divine love path that we come from, the natural love path, do our spirit guides change? Yeah. So we've had a change over in Yeah. And you'll find there will be an interim period where sometimes the natural love path guys come back because you want to avoid some emotion and so they come and help you their way, you know, which is the metaphysical way, you know, so you go off and have a new diet and you go off and change that, change that, and then you realise, oh, I'm just getting away from the emotion again. And then your divine love guy can kick in and help you there. So it just depends on what your desire is at that moment as to who is actually helping you. If your desire is to run away from your emotion and do it metaphysically, then you'll get help to do that. If your desire is to stay with your emotion and get help at soul level, then, you, then your guides will reflect that. <laughs>